Hi, we've now moved down to the minor injuries unit here in Felixstowe and uh, you may recall we did quite a, an extensive piece on this uh, following the meeting of the CCG governing body on uh, the 22nd of January where we had presentations made to the governing body by um, Alan Rose and Roy Gray and um, I was allowed to say a few words and fundamentally uh, what was agreed at that particular board meeting was uh, the times that the MRU will be open will change from 8 to 8. Uh, the change itself will be implemented I think on the 1st of April. Uh, but there was an agreement um, following evidence and uh, strong representation from PPG groups that the means of accessing this health service in our town would be reconsidered and discussed and a final decision will be made at the next meeting of the PPG at Hadley. Uh, we were given an update as how that process has been going and it would appear though the chairman of the CCG did say on camera to me and it's uh, on our site that uh, where there was a will there was a way it would appear that the way has become too rocky and the will is weakened to the degree now it would appear that this will be an appointment service only uh, which really is of concern in that this is the only fully delivered NHS service in our town it's actually delivered to us by the CCG uh, board itself. It is not for profit and uh, if we reflect our surgeries are, though they are working uh, to an NHS contract, they are actually a privately owned uh, business and it would appear the biggest um, obstacle along this way that we were told, told we would hope to go it was apparently the GP uh, Federation which currently owns uh, it would appear Haven, Howard House and uh, Walton surgeries so what the actual real reasons for this um, wasn't fully explained and I'm hoping that when the CCG has its board meeting we will get rather more details as to why the board who certainly gave the impression as to be united that there was a way that this could continue to be a walk-in service will now have to go through a, <laughs> a system whereby depending on the time of day and depending whether you know where you're going you either go through your own doctor's surgery or you use the 111 service and one of the big problems is that uh, if you're on our allotment or on the beach or playing a game of sport and you twist your ankle or cut your hand or whatever your normal bit is to bang something on it get in a car and somebody will get you down here and they will bandage you up and fix it and you're, you're back. Now apparently you've got this stage where you're going to be going through a receptionist at either end. We're told there will be a, a, direction, a direction of services, medical services, that they will be working to. They're all going to receive extensive training to ensure that they actually know that uh, Felix Doe MIC, as it will become, exists. I personally have concerns because you may do that with the current crop of folk but as we know contracts change, people change and one thing we do know is the retention of staff is becoming more difficult, more agency staff so we'll update you again when we actually fully know what the CCG board is going to act on. Bye for now.